Hi everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make these awesome owl candle holders. I have been saving the lids off of my frozen orange juice containers for a while now because I knew that I could come up with a creative craft idea to use them for. I thought that the light from a candle shining through a design on one of the lids would be really pretty, and it is. I also love to see the flicker of the candle light dancing on the wall, so that's why I made them so that you can hang them on the wall. I also added tree branches made out of wire to my candle holders because I thought that it would cast a really cool shadow on the wall. I can't wait to show you how to make these candle holders, so let's get started. The first thing I do is clean up a couple of my used candle jars that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. They are the perfect size for this project, and the top has a small rim which will hold the wire in place when I hang them on the wall. I use a small bowl and put my candle jar in it. Then I fill the bowl and the jar with boiling water. This will melt the old wax and help loosen the stickers on the outside of the jar. After a few seconds, the old wax will start to rise to the top of the water, and I use a couple of paper towels to remove the wax. The wax will cling to the paper towels. After I remove as much wax as possible with the paper towels, I put a few drops of dish soap in the jar to clean the jar. Try not to get wax in the sink. It will clog the pipes. I use the hot water that is in the bowl to wash the jar. Then I peel the stickers off and then dry it. Now they look brand new. I knew the lids off of my frozen orange juice containers would be the perfect thing to use for crafts and they are so easy to save. I am sure to come up with more ideas for future crafts too, so save your lids! In another video that I made, I show in detail how to make all kinds of things using the technique that I used for the leaves. I also made a video on how to make gemstone wire trees, which will explain in detail how I made my branches. So if you are interested in either of these more detailed tutorials, you can click here. Let's start off by making our branches. You can use 26 gauge wire for this. Cut a piece of wire off of your spool, then loosely bend the wire in half, like this. Make a small loop at the bend spot and twist the wire under the loop. The loop will be a leaf. Now take one side of the wire and make another leaf, and twist to make a branch. Then do it again on the other side. Use your imagination to create different branch shapes and sizes. It is a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Make as many branches as you think will look good on your candle holder. I use two larger branches for the back of each candle and a smaller branch for each side. Once all your branches are made, it is time to make the leaves. Use tacky glue to fill each leaf like this. Remember to check the other tutorial if you need help with this part. There is a link below. Now use a hair dryer to start the drying process. Then set the branch on some paper to dry the rest of the way. I let mine dry overnight. Now we will shape the wire that will hold the candle jar. You will need to make this wire long enough to hold the jar away from the wall. I used 17 gauge wire that I got at the hardware store and used a large pair of wire cutters to cut the wire. The length that I used was about 22 inches, but the length you will use will depend on your jar. The back of the wire, which will sit against the wall, will be about 2 inches tall, and the distance from the wall will also be 2 inches. Loosely fold your wire in half like we did for our branches. Use your jar to evenly wrap the two ends around the front of the jar like this. Now twist each side to hold the end wires in place. Use a pair of pliers to tuck the ends in. Form a loop at the fold and twist the wire together. Once you get it started, place the jar in the wire to make twisting the wire easier. Then slide the jar out and bend the twisted wire in the middle. Let's make our owl. Trace a circle around your lid and draw an owl in the middle. 
Be sure to leave room around the edge like I did so the owl fits in the center. Now cut the circle out. Place the owl on the lid and use a piece of clear tape on each side of the owl. Then tape each side of the owl to the front of the lid. If your lid has a date on it, make sure you face that side toward the back. To punch holes in the lid, you will need a hammer, a piece of wood, and something to punch holes in the lid like an awl or a nail. Now lightly tap holes all the way around the outline of your picture, including the face. After I was done punching my holes, I decided to make a heart on my owl's chest to add a special touch. Then I punched holes around the heart. After I am done, I take the tape and paper off of the lid. We will also need to punch two holes at the very top so we can attach the lid to our candle holder. Here are my finished lids. Perhaps if I used a nail, the holes would have been a bit smaller, but I really like how they turned out. I love the color of autumn leaves, and that is why I chose a nail polish color that was the color of autumn leaves. But you could use whatever color nail polish that you like best. Once the glue on your leaves are dry, it is time to paint our leaves. Simply paint both sides of your leaves with the color you choose. Then set them down to dry. Let's put our candle holders together. Get your 26 gauge wire and cut a small piece off. Then stick each end of the small wire into the front side of the top two holes of your owl. Place your owl on the front and center of the candle holder and wrap both sides of the wire around the candle holder. This is how it will look when it is attached. Now get a small branch and wrap the end around one side like this. Use another small branch and do the other side. Now slip the jar into place and twist the wire tight so that the jar doesn't fall out. All you have to do is attach your two larger branches to the back of the candle holder and you are done. I use a tea light candle in each of my jars to light up my owls. Another cool thing about these is that you don't have to hang them on the wall. You could use them as decorations on a table too. I think they are absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my owl candle holders today, and I hope it inspires you to make one too. I would love to hear from you if you give this craft a try, so don't forget to leave your comments down below. I also love to hear how you make your crafts unique and different. Check out our Facebook page if you are interested in posting a picture of one of your crafts. Here's what was shared with us this week. for taking the time to share your pictures with us and for watching our videos. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! Happy birthday, boy! My birthday, boy! Bye! You like it? He likes it. What are you doing? Trying on shoes. Let me see. Oh, they look classy. I like them. You put your new shoes on. Let me see your new shoes. All right, they're pretty awesome. So, what's your favorite place to eat? This is where you chose to go for your birthday, huh? Was it good? Delicious.